Hi my dear students, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to understand the few more important concepts from the lesson Heredity and Evolution. So as per modern question paper, you know that. So from this lesson, 5 marks will be expected. So minimum 5 marks, maximum 6 marks. So is to marks na nimu even the lesson in the expect mark bahulu. So without wasting much time, in today's class, I am going to teach the next important concept that is what is meant by the acquired trait and what is meant by the inherited trait and a few more important concepts from this lesson. So, now we will talk about the concept in the Gamanai to Kelly. Definitely, we will final examination of heredity and evolution in the Kelly questions. Ke answer Fine. So, what is meant by trait first of all? In the previous class, I will tell trait and the end. What is meant by trait? So, trait and the first of all, trait is nothing but the character. So, trait is nothing but the character. Okay. So, we are dealing with what is meant by the acquired trait, what is meant by the inherited trait. So, we are firstly dealing with what is meant by the acquired trait and what is meant by the inherited trait. So, very important to know. So, what kind of questions can be asked on this particular topic? Differentiate between acquired trait and inherited trait. This question can be asked. Athava. They can ask, acquired traits cannot be inherited, justify the statement. Acquired trait inherit agala, yen yen kuskara aftila justify maadli in the case. So, it is important to know this concept. So, if you know the concept, definitely any questions related to this concept, you can definitely answer. First of all, what is meant by acquired trait? See, acquired is nothing but which is getting into our life during our lifetime. So, the trait which acquire during our lifetime, the trait which acquire during our lifetime, it is called as acquired trait. Example for this, say I have black color hair. So, tomorrow if I don't want my hair to be black in color, I can get it colored as brown or anything which I like. Okay. So, it is not that this color which I made during my lifetime should be carried to my next generation. Andre, nani ke brown color hair na naan ista patu in maata dini coloring maar kulta dini. So it is not that my progeny, my offspring, atwa nani ke hotu va next generation ah ondo magu ye ni the, ah magu ke e ondo brown color transfer ag tenu do tapu. It is because e ondo trait na nani in maar dini I have made it during my lifetime. Say for example tomorrow if I want to become a bodybuilder. What will I do? I go to gym and make my muscles so strong and I become, I, I can build my body. Is it so that now if I am a bodybuilder, it is not compulsory that my child also have to become a bodybuilder. Ha bella, because this is a change which I made during my lifetime. So such kind of traits, yaudi trait aage bodu, nimma lifetime ali modify maadu kolukthardu, nimma next generation of springs ke carry aago dilla. Okay, such kind of traits are called as acquired traits. So, how can I define traits? Traits, okay, that acquire during lifetime. Acquire during lifetime, it is called as, it is called as the acquired trait. What about inherited trait? Inherited trait, and you know, See, this is getting inherited from the parents to the next generation. Simple dear students. Yen hakta hai One generation in the inon generation ke carry hakta hai Examples. See, I have black color eyeball. Now, I can also have brown color eyeball. Okay. So, my eyeball color will be expressed in my next generation of spring. And the curly hair which I have can also be expressed in my next generation of spring. Okay. Or my, the design of my fingers also can be seen in my next generation of spring. Because this is, these are the one characters which are being passed through the reproductive cells. Whereas acquired trait and the hair is E trait is not reproductive cells. carry It will be not carried. Whereas the inherited traits, they carry, they are carried or they are passed from the one generation to another generation. That is from parents to offsprings. Okay. 
so anything it may be eye eyeball color or maybe your hair texture or maybe the design of your fingers design of your foot foot uh, and also the ear lobes some people have free ear lobe some people have attached ear lobe so all these designs the body designs which you have is because of your parents okay because these are the traits which get inherited from the parents to the offspring must you must know okay how can i define inherited trait now Head defined mark bo hodo. See trait, trait, okay, that passes, that passes from, passes from parents, parents to next generation, or you can write offspring. Offspring is nothing but a next generation. Okay, so this is how you differentiate between the acquired trait as well as inherited trait. So now that let us understand the second question answer. So first difference बरियो बताइए. Examples also you understood, right? So ये का example ली. Acquired traits cannot be inherited. Give reason. In बरितिरा. It is very easy. या के? I think you know the answer. Acquired traits acquired during lifetime and these traits cannot be transferred to the reproductive cells. That is the reason they cannot be inherited. Clear? Acquired trait acquired during lifetime, they are not passed to reproductive cells. They cannot be inherited. Okay, so this is the one answer you have to write when I talk about acquired trait and inherited trait. I hope you got this concept, my dear students. If you have still doubt related to this concept, drop your precious comment in the comment area. Fine. So now that we understood about acquired and also the inherited trait, so let us now understand a few more important concept. From this lesson. So the next concept which I am uh, talking in this video is. So let us now talk about the next uh, a small definition. So that is speciation. See they ask about this definition for speciation sometimes for one mark. What is meant by speciation? See speciation is nothing but the origin of new species. Origin of first of all, what is meant by species? Species and reino. First, let us know what is species. Species and reino. Speciation, but it will go First, you must know what is species. Species is nothing but what? Group of organisms which have similar characters. Group of organisms which have similar characters and they can interbreed each other. See, we human beings are one particular species. So we can interbreed with other human being. Is it possible to interbreed with a dog? A human can interbreed with a dog. It is not possible. Can a human being can interbreed with a lion? Is it possible? It is not possible because lion is different species. Dog is a different species. Okay, we are different species. Okay, we can interbreed with the opposite human being only because we have similar characters. We have similar characters. So a group of organisms which have similar characters and which can interbreed each other, they are called as species. All the answers I will drop in my telegram group. Do join to my telegram group as well as you can also follow my uh, Instagram ID for further, uh, you know, any kind of uh, the questions which you have from your side. So don't forget the links are given in the description box below. Okay. So now, you understood what is meant by species. What is speciation? Speciation is nothing but the origin of new species. Origin of new species from the existing species. See, we have species, right? See, I am a species. I am a, I'm a human being. I belong to one species. So now, from me, a new organism is formed. Correct, na? So now, I can make it a bit more easier. I think you all know about beetles. Correct? So beetles but you go to that. So beetles are belonging to one particular species. Now this beetle upon reproduction, reproduce Martha Martha in another. So in one generation, we can see a beetle with a different body design. Okay? Different body design. So what I'm going to tell now here is we have a species called beetle. We have a species called Beetle. This beetle by reproducing over a generation and then the long period 
it will form the new variety of species. So, origin of new beetles, origin of new beetles from the existing beetles. So, hey, origin I will teach you about the mechanism of evolution in my next class. You must listen to that concept to understand, uh, to answer actually, to answer various questions. There are so many questions which you can answer by knowing the mechanism of evolution. So, what actually I am telling you here is origin of new species. There is a new type of beetle which has been formed from the existing beetle. And now this new beetle cannot interbreed with the old beetle. Old beetle. Understand? So, speciation will lead to evolution, my dear students. Speciation leads to evolution. Okay. Evolution is a broad concept. So, slowly, slowly, I can explain that. So, now tell me, how can we define speciation? Speciation is nothing but origin of, origin of new species from the existing species. Existing species or you can write existing ones. Okay. So, this is how you can define speciation. So, in this video, you have totally gained 3 marks. If they ask question from acquired traits or inherited traits, you will get 2 marks definitely. Okay. Or if they, get, give, uh, they ask give reason, you will get definitely 1 mark. And if they ask you to define speciation, you can define speciation. Right. So, short videos are there, concept clear are there, then we answer very easy. If the videos are too lengthy, so few students are asking, ma'am, make one video, what is it? Uh, all the concept in one video. So one lesson, one video Martin Kelly Dira. That I I do at the end. Revision time Mandan Martin. Okay. First you must make clear about the concept. Every concept I'm making a short video. So do watch short videos and completely understand the concept. So that's all for today's video, my dear students. In my next video, I'll be discussing the mechanism of evolution. So without missing the next video. And if you have skipped the previous video, do watch the videos. Are, are, they are available in my channel. So thank you so much for watching this video. So don't waste your time. You have still many days. Okay. So take it exam as a challenge. Take it exam as a festival. Celebrate it by enjoying how you enjoy by studying. Okay. So we'll meet you in the next video. Until then take care.